Hello everyone, I'm Delane Law. I'm a licensed area manager with Angel Oak Home Loans. And today I am here with Mary Reeds Taylor. Mary is an agent with ERA Wilder Realty and she is very successful in Kershaw County. So today we want to talk about USDA loans. So Mary, why don't you let us know some of the questions most buyers have these days. Yeah, so Delane, can you tell listeners what makes an area USDA eligible? Yes, Mary. One, it is rural. And the way USDA determines what area that will be is made up of a couple of different things. One being the population, two being access to mortgage credit, and three, the proximity into a major metropolitan area like Columbia, South Carolina. We know not every type of home buyer will meet the requirements even if they live in a designated USDA area. What are the requirements? So to be eligible for a USDA loan, one, there are income limitations that are determined by the household, the number of people in the household, and the total income for the household. Two, we want to verify that income for at least two years. And one of the other major factors is that it has to be a single family residence, primary residence. USDA does not allow for investment property or second homes. One of the huge benefits are the flexible down payment options. What are they and does a home buyer have to put any money down? Actually, Mary, that's the best thing about a USDA loan is there is no down payment required. It's 100% financing. So you don't have to be a first time home buyer. You can, uh, as long as you're eligible, you can be a second time home buyer, uh, but you don't need any money now. Well, Delaine, this has been awesome, great information. Yes. So I uh, want to encourage everyone who has any questions about USDA loans to give us a call and see if you qualify for a USDA loan. It starts with a conversation. It'll end with the contract. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for tuning in.